How high do you see silver going? Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now as you're going to like what I'm about to say. So, yes, presenting one of my favorite pieces right here, and it is a collector piece and a limited piece. Here we have a 2021 silver Wolverine coin. Wolverine remains the most popular of the X-Men and has been a fan favorite for nearly two decades with reboots and additional films being announced relatively frequently. These are a limited mintage of only 50,000. Of course, you go to the uh, verse and you see a depiction of the bust of Queen Elizabeth II. Very, very attractive. Um, and I really, really like how it just goes along that nice lighting right there. You know, right there, more shadows. Right there, it's more exposed. Then we go to the reverse and we see uh, Wolverine standing with his claws ready for battle. Uh, currently, I'm seeing these as low as $50 to $55 with free shipping. And I think that's just an excellent, excellent deal. $50 to $55 with free shipping. Really cool right there. Of course, if you can excuse Silver Sun right there in the background, he doesn't understand that there's an audience um, and that this is live and that he's gonna come out in it, but <clears throat> that's Silver Sun for you folks. And I'm fixing in about, uh, I don't know, two years, three years, he's gonna be helping me out and you're gonna hear his, his little voice on here talking about his favorite coins. Um, but yes, that Wolverine piece, I try to always have at least one to two at the minimum because they're always selling, they're always in demand, and they are just stunning, and they just add on to my lovely collection. Uh, real quick, folks, before I continue, I want to give a quick shout-out, and this is to one of my loyal subscribers, and this is Joe Linazia, uh, 8401, and this is a comment from yesterday. Love Snoopy. Matter of fact, I got Snoopy right here referencing this coin that I did the other day. Love Snoopy. Had a Joe Cool t-shirt when I was a kid and it was my favorite piece of clothing. A lot of folks I know in the rural area I am from used to think I was crazy, investing in metals of various sorts rather than stock market or bank things. Now they're asking for advice, LOL. When I say metals, I don't just mean precious metals, but I also invest in bulk PB of various calibers and V8 engines. Survival gear and camping supplies are good too, as are seeds and canning equipment. I have been thinking of investing in a commercial uh, freeze dryer, but they are a large investment and time uh, commitment if you plan to use one enough to make it worthwhile. Great comment right there from uh, Joe uh, Lean Asia, 8401. Real quick, I wanna go back to your reference of the V8 engines, yes, V8 engines. Those suckers retain their value very, very well. V6 and V8, and if you notice, the car industry is going away with them. Everybody's going V4, everybody's going hybrid, and the engines used to be V8 are now V6, and the engines that used to be V6 are now V4. It concerns me, and I'm a car dealer. Um, <clears throat> and then yes, you know, you bring up survival equipment, you bring up camping supplies, seeds, canning equipment. Yeah, you know, these people, these things, people, people overlook them and they shouldn't. Um, but more notably, it's not far-fetched for gold to hit four grand in the near future. It's not far-fetched for silver to hit 70 to $100 spot, especially with the way inflation is going. We're living in some wild times. Just look at what happened recently with Tesla. They laid off over 10% of their global workforce due to failing sales. That's over 14,000 people around the world. And this actually includes one of my dear friends who was a general sales manager for the only local Tesla in town. And they even let him go, and he was the hot shot. But then again, Ford continues to issue layoffs. Why? Because 80% of Americans won't own a car in the next five years. That's why these dealers are already issuing layoffs. This is causing uh, massive ripple effects all throughout the economy. Car insurance is at a 50 year high and it only keeps rising. The cost of labor for which your vehicle is also rising. Um, everything is increasing as the government mandates to own electric cars. In the near future, only the rich will own gas vehicles uh, since they will no longer be affordable. 
your Toyota and Honda is going to feel like you're servicing a Mercedes with the way prices are going up. Repossessions have been skyrocketing now for months. I know this firsthand from the business that I deal with. I'm constantly seeing brand new cars get returned. The payment was $1,000, $1,500. Most people can't afford this. It's a race to the bottom at this point and Tesla knows it, GM knows it, Nissan knows it, Ford knows it. It will be a completely different world much sooner than you probably think. Most people will work from home. Um, their kids will be homeschooled uh, by some online program. And if you wanna travel nearby, uh, you'll either get an Uber or Lyft. Gas cars will be for the rich people. Gas cars will be for the few. All these layoffs are happening in real time because the economy is crashing. The entire auto market is going through a massive change. And again, I'm speaking because I'm a car dealer. I'm speaking on behalf of what I'm seeing and hearing from the top. Most Americans are struggling while the average monthly car payment is over $700. Insurance, $200. And this is just average. Lots of people are paying much, much more than this. Then you have gas and other expenses. People are spending $1,100 to $1,200 a month just to drive a car. How many people can really afford this going forward? Over the next few years, um, many big cities in America, they're going to fall apart. They already are. Then they're going to start to look more like China. So there's a ton of change coming to America as a whole, to our economy, to our people, to our way of life. This is why the constant push for Marxism exists all around, especially for our coming youth. They're not going to tell you to buy silver. They're not going to tell you to buy gold or how to innovate or why you should marry and have children, why one should own property. They're not going to tell you anything that actually benefits your livelihood as a human being, as a man or as a woman. And yes, before I forget, as always, as I say it, <clears throat> hate him or love him, these silver rounds of Donald Trump are always in high demand and always sell for nice premiums. This one ounce silver round features the 45th president of the United States, of course, Donald J. Trump. Crafted with fine silver, this collectible captures the essence of Trump's charisma with remarkable detail. Um, whether you're a precious metals collector or a Donald Trump fan, this piece is a unique tribute to a significant uh, historical figure. I'm currently seeing these for around $37, $38 with free shipping. You know, this is, this is real nice what I'm seeing, but right here on the back, that is the best part of this commemorative round. I love looking at the eagle. I love the American flag. Just so patriotic, um, so imperial, you know, just very, very imperial, very powerful. Um, and yes, you know, I have I have another one. I have the one with his mugshot, and then I have another one where the Pledge of Allegiance is on the back. Even though I like the Pledge of Allegiance on the back the best because it's very, very rare, even though you can find these more often, it's just a stunning coin, um, very presidential, very American. That's what I will say about it. It's one of my most American patriotic uh, pieces, and I always love showing it off. But yes, we got Wolverine there, and then boom. Got, got America right there. We got America right there. And then guys, just to end this evening, you know, I've been sharing it these last days. Um, this is actually my third uh, novel. Uh, the uh, the pre-order is live right now on Amazon, um, and this is a sports thriller. It's a bio pick. It's, it's, it's a sports epic, you know. Imagine Raging Bull meets Moneyball. Um, you're talking something that's going to be remembered in retrospect to the natural. Um <laughs> What, what dreams, uh, a field of dreams, um, Friday Night Lights, you know, this is just one of, uh, one of those stories that I would tell you to definitely, definitely, uh, check out, um, I had my first one, which is a, a, a uh, dark comedy, and then my second piece was a crime thriller, and then, of course, this is my third novel right here, um, it's live now, you can check it out in the description, Silver Sun, calm down, Silver Sun, sit down, I'm going to have to move my son, but um, but yes, folks, please check it out. This is my hobby. It's my passion. I'm a big believer in not necessarily following your passion, but always bringing it with you. So yes, right here, my third novel. Please go check it out. And as always, folks, I'm about to get you, Silver Son. God bless you. God bless your household. And God bless 
America.